Churches that do not follow the teachings of the Bible distort its interpretation and hinder the faith in God who came in the flesh, the second coming Christ. One of the examples of misinterpretation of the Bible is Revelation chapter 1, verse 7. Apostle John prophesied that when Christ comes a second time, He would come with the clouds and every eye would see Him. Established churches distort the interpretation by claiming the statement that every eye will see refers to a supernatural event that everyone can witness rather than Christ returning in the flesh. If their insistence were correct, they would deny not only the second coming Christ, but also the first coming Jesus. Does the biblical statement that every eye will see really mean that all people will witness it through a supernatural phenomenon? Through the prophecies concerning Jesus' first coming and their fulfillment, let us demonstrate that the claims of established churches are false. And the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all people will see it together. The prophecy that all people will see God's glory was fulfilled when Jesus was born in Bethlehem, Israel. According to the interpretation of the established churches, the whole world should have seen God when He was born in the flesh 2,000 years ago. In reality, only a few Jews saw the glory of Christ who came in the flesh. Are the prophecies of the Bible wrong? Or is Jesus not the Christ? If they forcefully interpret the prophecies of the Bible without realizing them correctly, they will deny the Bible and even deny Christ. The Bible is a book of prophecies written by men who are moved by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, if we approach the prophecies from the viewpoint of mere mortals rather than from the perspective of the Holy Spirit, we risk distorting the meaning of the Bible. 2,000 years ago, the religious leaders who claimed to know the Bible crucified God who came in the flesh. It was because they arbitrarily interpreted the Bible and distorted its meaning. It is the same in this age. The established churches claim that Jesus cannot come in the flesh because everyone on earth must see Him, but in reality, they are distorting the Bible. Just as the prophecy that everyone will see God's glory at His first coming does not imply that all people on earth will witness it, the words in Revelation chapter 1, verse 7, every eye will see, does not mean that everyone on earth will see Him. It means that He would come in the flesh so that anyone could see Him. From Genesis to Revelation, the Bible prophesies that God will come a second time in the flesh to save mankind. If we disregard the prophecy of the Bible that He will come a second time in the flesh and interpret the Bible arbitrarily, we risk destruction, just like those who rejected Christ when He came as the Savior at His first coming. Therefore, it is wrong to insist that Jesus cannot come in the flesh because every eye will see Him.